Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Claire and I put out videos about luxury bags and accessories so if that's your thing please click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll know when I upload a new video. Now today's video is showing you some items that I was 100% influenced to buy. Influenced mainly by YouTubers um, so it's all their fault but it's items that I was influenced to buy but I do not regret buying. I'm really pleased that I bought them. Now I would say that they might be considered impulse buys. Some of them yes, some of them not because I still had to wait for them to come back into stock and things like that. But I made up my mind to buy them perhaps very quickly after seeing them. So that maybe was uh, perhaps an impulse buy. So the first one um, was influenced by the YouTuber Cassie Thorpe and she's actually responsible for a couple of these. She's, she's a very bad girl. Now Cassie is a fantastic YouTuber. Her style is completely different to mine. She's a lot younger than me. She's got a completely different figure. She's, she's just gorgeous and edgy and she makes every look work for her. That's not me. However, I still can take an awful lot from her channel because she just seems to appeal across the ages. She appeals to people with various styles and obviously, you know, I might not buy all the bags she has, I might not buy the clothes she has, but I definitely take inspiration from her with certain things and there is the odd one or two items that she's got over the years which I've looked at and gone, I have to get that too. And this is one of them. Um, I believe I've shown you this before. This is my coin card holder from Louis Vuitton in the fabulous yellow, lime green, whatever colour you want to call it. She showed this and I just fell in love with it. I thought, that is amazing. I want to get that. It's from the men's collection. Um, I went online. It was constantly out of stock. I just couldn't get it at all. I believe I set up the notification thing on it to notify me when it came back in stock months went by so I suppose you could say it wasn't an impulse buy because I had to wait so long but as soon as I saw it I did decide I, I needed to have it I really wanted it I remember one Friday afternoon I picked up my phone was just checking my emails and I got a notification it was back in stock well I went to that website in a flash I thought oh, I've probably missed it I've probably missed it already added it to cart couldn't believe it that it had added to cart checked out paid for it and there it was, ordered. Was waiting po possibly for the order to be cancelled and it wasn't. A few days later this was in my hands and I was so thrilled to have this. I do use it regularly. I swap it in and out with um, another card case that I use but um, yeah I love it. So all Cassie's fault that I got this beauty and they do, they have since released it in uh, quite a few other colours and you know I, I can't really justify any other colours but I'd love it in the blue and pink to be honest but I, I don't need it in other colours so um, there we go so that was one. The other one by Cassie now I suppose you could say perhaps other YouTubers mention this a lot because it's very much a classic. Cassie isn't really one for classic bags but she does have this and she does rave about it on her channel. I think she bought it a long long time ago and has used it and she doesn't use it now. She's She's bought lots of other sort of tiny bags and other bags that she uses that are much more her style now but she will still talk about this and say it is a fantastic item and I believe it is. Um, I got mine brand new from the boutique and it is, I'm just going to take my little felt off of it, the Chanel wallet on chain. Now I was very boring, I went for the black caviar leather with the silver hardware that's my aesthetic. I just I love the black caviar. I love silver hardware. My other Chanel bags I've shown you are exactly the same. Black caviar, silver hardware. I love this. It's so versatile. You can wear it in so many ways. You can fit your essentials in it. Um, it comes with the beautiful strap. You know, I mean, it's been around for years. I bought it a while back. A few price increases ago. It wasn't cheap. Um, certainly isn't cheap now. It's gone up quite a bit but um, it was a really good buy. I saw Cassie talk about it a lot. I saw other YouTubers talk about it and I thought, I, I know that would fit my lifestyle. I would use it and I have, I've used it so much. I would love to have another wok in a different color. I would like to have maybe the beige one. You know, it's a lot of money to save up. 
I'll, I'll, I'll see. I've got other things I'm saving up for as well. You know, I can't have everything. Um, but I think primarily I was influenced by Cassie and then further influenced by other YouTubers really raving about the Chanel wallet on chain. Um, another bag which I've mentioned a lot on my channel and I actually said in my video about this bag recently, the Toy Lulu, that I was influenced by that. I was I was influenced by um, a, a YouTuber who's not on YouTube anymore to buy this. She, as I said, actually ended up returning it and not keeping it. I kept it and love it. Um, there are other YouTubers that really, really rave about this bag as well. As I said on my other video, I did some research at the time. I found other YouTubers talking about it, showing you what fits and that sort of thing. And that made up my mind to buy it. So it was a fairly um, quick impulse buy. I think I took about a week or so to have a think about it. And then I bought it. So very happy with my Toy Lulu mentioned it lots on my channel already. The other thing I was influenced to buy by multiple YouTubers is the six ring key holder. Now I really initially thought that that wasn't for me. I saw lots of YouTubers talking about this item from Louis Vuitton. I had the key clay but I wasn't really using it. Um, I, I didn't really get on with it and I had my keys and I was like oh, I, I perhaps need to find some other way of, of putting my keys in something so that they're protecting the inside of my bag and I saw so many videos on this I thought well maybe I'll give it a try I'm not 100% sure if it is for me I'll give it a try and I did order it from the website when it came I realized that actually yes I can fit my keys in it um, it's got my car key in it and I just I love it I really really love it I, I obviously I use it every day it's got my keys in it I have um, a car key I have three keys and I have like a a kind of a, a trolley key so I'm using five of the rings I have looked at the four ring key holder because I do only have four keys and I thought maybe I could get away with the four ring key holder and that's quite nice and snug and, and I'm not discounting that the only thing is I think it probably wouldn't fit my car key so at the moment this fits my car key it fits into most bags apart from really really tiny bags so I find for most situations this is perfect and so yes lots of youtubers influenced me to buy this i know it doesn't work for everybody but f personally for me i love this slg and it really does work for me um fantastic so that's four items there's one more and that's a pair of sunglasses now again i showed you my sunglass collection quite a while ago I've, I've since added a couple of pairs of sunglasses to that collection this is a pair of celine sunglasses i saw these on dale from dale's addiction she went away recently and i believe at the airport she bought these and she was vlogging and so she was in the car having got off the plane and she was vlogging and saying look i bought these new sunglasses and i just Oh, I fell in love. I just thought they are lovely. I have to have those sunglasses. So yes, an impulse buy. They're amazing. They're black. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, they're black. And they have like this tortoise shell bottom. Um, kind of the cat's eye style. So there you go. There they are on me. I just love them. Oh my gosh, they're, they're gorgeous. I have quite a few sunglasses that are round. And I really wanted a cat's eye pair of sunglasses. I also find it very hard to decide between black and tortoiseshell sunglasses. Most of the ones I've got are black. I have actually in the past bought similar pairs in black and tortoiseshell because I move between them and I can never decide which to go for. These are the best of both worlds. I've got black and tortoiseshell, so they're fantastic. Absolutely love them. I loved them on Dale. They look amazing on her. I ordered them, got them from Harvey Nicks. So I was able to return them if they didn't suit me and I was just thrilled when I put them on I felt they suited me I hope you agree but personally I thought they suited me and I've worn them a few times already absolutely love them I'm in the UK we've had snow this morning um we need the sun to shine the sun needs to come out so I can wear my amazing Celine sunglasses that Dale's Addiction influenced me to buy so thank you Dale for that because I just absolutely love those so that's my five items that I've been influenced to buy, mainly by YouTubers. I would be lying if I said there wasn't any other items that I've been influenced to buy. I could probably have a route through my wardrobe, through my bags and probably find something else. I tend to try not to be influenced too much because I don't have the money to be influenced by everything that I see on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. But once in a while something comes up and I'm 
I think, yeah, that is definitely for me. And um, thank you to any YouTuber out there who has influenced me to buy something that I've really enjoyed and that I've loved using. <sighs> no thanks to YouTubers who have influenced me to buy things that have not worked out for me because there's been a few of those as well. But um, most of the time I know my style, I know what I like, I know what will work and most of what I buy that I am influenced to buy does work out for me. So, let me know in the comments down below if there's anything in particular you've been influenced to buy by YouTubers. Maybe I've influenced you to buy something that you've seen on my channel. I know I've had a few comments in the past from people talking about the bags I've been showing and saying that they've they've ordered them. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I really look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.